Good evening. You're tuned in to Pack Alive. I would like to present to you the internet, an encore performance by Jerry Gaff. Intimate crowd tonight, which is a good way to go on a stage like this. So I think I've probably met all of you now, so I don't have to introduce myself. Hopefully we'll get a few more people in here. But uh, I'm going to start out with a Bob Dylan song, and then from there on it'll mostly be my stuff. But this is kind of a, an upbeat, break the ice type song. It's called Easy Chair. If you know the words, feel free to sing along. Are we ready? Steve, but let's see if I can finger pick it. Red Arrow Highway. This is a song I wrote. Uh, I was born and raised in Indiana, raised my family in southern Michigan, and we had the absolute pleasure of getting to know Lake Michigan. And uh, along the edge of the eastern edge of Lake Michigan, there's a road that runs north and south. Comes out of uh, Michigan City in the south and runs up to somewhere around Benton Harbor, St. Joe, where it cuts east over to Grand Rapids. Uh, it runs along, it, it's kind of a ruralish road, uh, lots of little small white spots that passes through that have names, uh, they call them towns, things like that. Uh, goes past the Tabor Hill Vineyards. Tabor Hill, by the way, makes the best cherry wine in the world. Um, past the sand dunes, 
uh, these big piles of uh, sand, 80 some feet tall. The kids in the summer, they would uh, climb up these dunes and uh, these, these things are burning hot in the summer. So they'd go running up the dunes and then they'd get as far as they could and then they'd dig their feet into where the sand was cooler. And then they'd make another dash for the top. And then when they'd get to the top, then of course they would lay down and roll all the way back down. Sand everywhere. And then they'd go swimming. Um, it's called the Red Arrow Highway. Let's run away on the Red Arrow Highway. It's a beautiful day on Lake Michigan shore. Just you and me and a bottle of wine, baby. Who could ask for anything more? We'll make some stops at those art and night shops. Maybe find a treasure or two. We'll look through the things that were. Find a dream for me and you on the Red Arrow Highway. Just me and you. We could linger a while at a place called She's and got a table for two. Drawbridge and the boats on the old St. Joe. I don't know how I could ever be blue in the sweet cherry wine. It's Tabor Hill's finest. We could climb to the top of the dunes. Dinner at Hannah's, apples and brie. This day is gonna end much too soon.
That was for Steve. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. I made a set list, but I didn't put them in order. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do when, so I figured I'd just wing it, and uh, we'll go from there. This is a story about sitting on a porch down south, maybe. Uh, summer night, kids playing in the street, and you've got these peaches, Georgia peaches. And it's just kind of a song about that evening. It's called Sweet Georgia Peaches.
see Tommy Link just wander in here? All right. It's good to see you, my friend. It's been, been a while. Yeah, I've been out of Erie for seven years, I think. And it went by quickly. So, but I'm glad you're here. And my understanding is you're playing tomorrow at uh, Hotel Fest? That's right. We'll both be there. Yeah, I'm at, uh, I'll be playing at 4.15 and you're at like 5 or something? Like 6.15. 615? Yeah. Okay. So, if you want more really good music, um, like I said, I'll be there at 415 Conneaut Hotel down in Conneaut Lake. Uh, they, they have a big festival, and I'll be playing at 415. It'll be about a 45 minute set, and then Tommy goes on at 615. And if you haven't heard Tommy's music, then you owe it to yourself to acquaint yourself with that young man because he is a phenomenal songwriter. Really is. So here's a song that Erie has not heard. Uh, I'm not sure what prompted me to write this song. Um, some songs come to you, some songs you go and find, and some just kind of hang around until they decide to show up, I guess. I don't know. Uh, not sure where this one came from. It, it started with the, the opening lick. I found that and I thought, oh, that's cool. And then the rest of it came. Uh, I had it recorded and submitted it to a radio station, uh, the Hugs Underground Sound Show. It's an internet station at this point. It's Hugs, H-U-G-S dot com, I believe. And they stream 24-7. And at this point, there's at least four of my songs out there on the airwaves. This one has stayed in the top 200 on their list for over a year now. And it got as high as number nine. So uh, I even had a uh, music video made of it. So this shameless self-promotion part here. Uh, I, I don't have an actual website of my own. I use a website called Drupal, D-R-O, D-R-O-O-B-L-E, Drupal.com. And you go in there and you can look me up. There's a lot of really good music in there. And my um, YouTube channel is Slide Maniac, one word, because uh, I sometimes will do some bottleneck slide stuff. And the video for this is on there. It's called Cadillac.
Faster or slower or what are... Tell you a story about the Carolina Hills. Um, I live just outside of Asheville, North Carolina. And I was sitting on my porch one night watching the moon. Coming up, and this song came to me. It's called The Valley Below. There's a cold moon over the balsam range, clouds scud through the promise rain. Long low moon of the Asheville tree in the valley. song I wrote after I moved down to Carolinas.
how I'll ever make it through But I'll gladly take the chance For the joy of the dance To the rhythm of the heart inside For your heart beats with the rhythm have questions for me or anything feel free to throw them out between songs ideally but you know it's, uh, so um. uh, I think I do this a few years back when I was still here at Erie probably my second or third year here I was asked to play at a festival they called the Firefly Festival and it was out in the woods somewhere, fields and creeks and that sort of thing. And they gave me the 8 a.m. slot. Okay, so <laughs> nobody's up at that point. So, but that's okay. I, I had a good time. I went out and played. And uh, then I got to sit down and watch music for the rest of the day. And at one point, there, there was a, a reggae band on Route 5th, I think is what they were. Called. They've played around here before, I'm sure. But I saw this young lady kind of wandering through the crowd, and she was being followed by these guys. And it looked to me like they were annoying her. So I called over and said, look, if they're bothering you, you're welcome to sit here with me, and you know, they'll leave you alone. And uh, we kind of struck up a friendship. She told me her name was Lainey Day. Um, and we bumped into each other throughout the day, uh, went on some field adventures, um, and, you know, she'd go her way, I'd go mine, and we'd bump into each other, and she just left a really indelible mark on me, and that's the only time I've ever met the girl. And I, I, I wrote this song about her, and a couple years ago, I got word that she had passed away, it was a drug overdose, I believe. 
and I realized that this song was just a little bit more prophetic's not the word, but uh, I saw more than what I realized I'd seen in this girl. It's called Laney Day. to the story. Uh, she was this amazing young woman that th there just seemed to be so much about her. And I was, I, I knew at the time there was more than met the eye. She seemed like this uh, carefree, uh, wonderful person. And then to find out later that she had these habits. Uh, I'm really sad for her. Let's try the skin.
you all for being patient with me through that. Yeah, it was, uh, let's do something fun. This is a Tom Hit song. Any of you folks know Tom Hit? I know Tommy Link does. Okay. This is a song that Tom wrote. Uh, he, uh, he wrote this kind of nice loping little ballad. Two verses. And I heard it and turned it into a rock and roll song with three verses. I, it's about New Orleans. It's called Hip Town. showed up on the feed too. Hello, Hannah. She's watching from Amsterdam. She's a world traveler. She took me to Egypt last December. Amazing place. If you get the chance, we should go. What do we have? Do another one of my songs from down south. This song actually originated in San Francisco. Rainy night. Listen to music. People I love. Stay out all night. It's called City Lights. I 
Did you win? I play, I mean, I play, I didn't oh, I see. That's, it's all in how you mean the word play, right? Uh, no, someday there's a brewery in Brook City I'm playing at. Okay. That's a pretty Big rail. Big rail brewery. Okay. Lots of good music around this town, folks. Uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, I'd like to thank Packer for having me in here tonight. It was kind of a short notice thing. Uh, but uh, it's being with old friends, and I appreciate that. Appreciate it a lot. How are we doing on time? Uh, we got 15 till. So, about 15 minutes or so. Let's see if I could stretch this out. Um, this song I wrote, I think before I came to Erie. Kind of a, no, I wrote it here in Erie because what drove it was uh, the boss I had had a saying that he liked, and that, that was uh, you know, the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over. And that's what kind of drove this song. Was, uh, it's called The Same Old Things, and it's kind of uh, about life in general. Um, it, it's, it's a shame that we, as a nation and a world, can't let people be who they are. We always are out trying to change them. So, so with that.
said something about you. Was your name Dave? Uh, Wake up there, come on, I need to get on the road. <laughs> My name is Mike. Mike, okay. I should know that. I have a brother named Mike. Uh, are you native to Erie? I am native to Erie, yes. Yeah, excellent. Good choice. And you're a musician? I am, yes. Are you uh, currently on the road or anything? Uh, well, I'm currently sitting here watching you. That is awesome! Uh, I like that. I will soon be on the road, yes. Okay. <laughs> well? And I was recently in Asheville. Was nice. Oh, you were? Yeah. What did you think of it? Oh, I love Asheville. It's great. We were at the Green Eagle. Oh, yeah? yeah? Man, I wish I'd known. But you didn't know me then. Uh, you know, I, I, it should have been in the air. It, Steve, it's your fault. You could have told me. It's always Yeah. Uh, it's like from here and it goes wrong. It's my fault. <laughs> this will isn't as painful as it seems, I don't think. But All right. These are the last two songs I'll do. And I'm going to do a little love song. Since this is eerie, it's a winter song. Shop. 
favorite ones of mine that I've written. It's called Corona and a Lime. For Justin Moyer, yes. This is a Justin Moyer Productions uh, Festival. Um, if you get a chance, get out there. Uh, it's for a good cause. So, um, And then I'll be leaving Erie for a little while. So if you want me to come back, feel free to invite me. Okay? <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Good night.